SA. So today I am actually um, bottling some goddess polish. Um, we have been out for a while. You guys have been asking for this product. So I decided to come on live and bottle it and then we will set up the label machine and label this amazing silicone brick. So really and truly, let's, let's talk about the different things that you definitely need. Hey, Grasshopper, when you are doing any form of bottling. So number one, this is called a hopper. So this is what we call a manual hopper. We also have a semi-automatic hopper, which is this one that you guys see here. This is called a semi-automatic hopper. And then over here, that very large machine you guys see there, that is called an automatic hopper, okay? So we have all three, but for a short run or for small businesses or for those of you that are starting your business and you need to be able to do these things quickly, efficiently, um, with better sanitation, this is going to be your go-to and they're very cost effective. So this one has already been cleaned and prepared. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead, we've already pre-mixed the Goddess Polish so it's ready to go. I'm just gonna pour it in here and then we are gonna bottle it. And I also have a scale. The reason why I have a scale is because when you are in business, you want to ensure that your measurement for your amount of product that you are putting in each container is right, okay? The worst thing you can do is put too much product or too little product. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and I'm going to tear the bottle. And when I say tear the bottle, meaning I'm gonna weigh the bottle without any product in it so that when I put the products from the, from the hopper into the bottle and I put it on the scale, that is gonna tell me if I have the accurate amount of product. Now, I have on my little wrap thingy because we are in the warehouse. It can get very hot out here very quickly. Um, we are in the process of trying to get HVAC put into the warehouse portion, which you guys know warehouses are typically hot. But because we have these products and our production size, we are no longer going to be doing it um, because Florida gets really, really hot. So we're gonna turn this into a refrigerated or a seed warehouse rather than it being just a open bay like this. So that's why you guys see me with my wrap on, number one. Number two, you don't want any hair in your product, so it kind of works out for me. I perspire a lot. I have the fan on, which is the reason why you guys hear me talking slightly louder, um, because that fan has to be on for me to be able to work. All right, so we have our bottles here. So I have my bottles. Um, we buy our bottles by the case. We buy our bottles by the case um, because we use so many and that is definitely what I would recommend for those of you that are getting into product creation. Um, definitely I would say buying your products in case size is gonna save you the most money. So let me plug in this charger really quickly. Because we made these on Friday, we have to make sure that they're thoroughly mixed because they've been sitting over the weekend. And for the shine spray, it's easier for us to make it in this rather than the five gallon bucket because I'm pouring it to do snort runs. So I am going to get my And the reason why I'm going to get my step stool is because this can flash back and all. Stay here, girl. Stay here. Um, you don't want to waste any products. So, because I know it has some type of, sometimes it can have splash back. That's another reason. Also, I'm going to clean this out again. I don't like how that feels.
So this is really easy to clean. You put a little bit of rubbing off on a clean cloth. These cloths that you guys see me using, these are called shop towels. They are kind of the best thing to use because they are washable and you don't want to always have to keep buying disposable items. So shop towels are actually really good for what I'm doing. All right, so let's go ahead and pour this batch in. And you don't want it to splash back. So that's another reason why I like to control it like this. Okay, and we also control our batches by lot number. So we know exactly what batch we had. All right, so I'm gonna start with that one first. Put my cap on so that nothing flies inside. So these are bottles. So our goddess polish comes in four ounce bottles. What I'm gonna do is filter through first with one push. So I'm gonna put this here. Because the machine has to filter through, you want to make sure that you do filter it through the right way. All right, we go in where the money resides. All right, so we're going to go ahead. exactly four ounces so once it settles because it did come out of a hopper it's going to look like this first and then it will settle so it has air bubbles in it those air bubbles have to subside and then we are good to go this is also another reason why i like to take out a couple bottles at a time because when you're using the manual hopper remember residual product is still inside the spout and when that residual product is in the spout, you end up losing product. Now you do have to account for waste when you are bottling product, you guys. You have to account for waste. So if you have 128 ounces of product that you're working with, you usually want to account at least a minimum of 7% towards waste, okay? right-handed so I gotta put that over here And unfortunately, because you are bottling a product that can sometimes sud or that has air bubbles in it, you're going to have air bubbles until the product itself rests on the shelf or in the box. And then by time it's selling time, you'll be ready to go. So if I'm using the semi-automatic hopper, then I wouldn't have to pump, pump, pump. But because I'm only doing a short run, using that bigger machine is gonna require a lot more cleaning. So sometimes I, I prefer the manual hopper. Thank you guys. So we have our business classes coming up in curriculum two 
on the Elite Hair Care and Business Building University. So if you guys are interested in starting a business, maybe you wanna know some best practices, that kind of thing, that is what those classes are designed for. We have different topics for each class. So the first curriculum for business building is really about just that, business building. It is to give you the foundation. This one has just a little too much. It is to give you the foundation to start that business. And then after that, we get into the core where in the core is where we, in the core is where we do specifics, bottling, um, packaging best practices, how to label your products. So we'll have those classes after we do the foundation classes because I'm giving you guys foundation first, just as we're doing right now. So like with the hair care classes, tomorrow is about what's my porosity. Tomorrow we're gonna be teaching porosity and how to check your porosity we're also going to be doing a as a class a porosity check where everybody is going to know their porosity by time class is over we'll talk a little bit about best practices for each porosity and get you guys the fundamentals on understanding your hair care so you can stop wasting a ton of your money on products that you really don't need a lot of you are just kind of guessing a lot of you are seriously just guessing When I first launched Elite Hair Care, <laughs> I was manually doing a lot of this work. We didn't have all these products. I was like manually doing a lot of everything. I can honestly say that I manually did a lot of work. And that's when I started getting these little manual hoppers because these are good. These are good to have. They're definitely good to have. Let me put this here for a second. So these are definitely good to have because they are cheap to buy if they break, which is very, very rare that they break because you can take them apart. They don't cost much when it comes on to replacing them. You can wash them out because they are stainless steel, so they're washable, they don't absorb. A lot of the tools and packaging things that we use in manufacturing is typically stainless steel because they are the most durable, number one. They are cleanable, number two. And stainless steel, yes, it can be expensive, but honestly, when you're doing manufacturing, you want stuff that you can clean, stuff that you can reuse, so that every investment you make is not an investment that's going down the drain. That's really the most important. So what I'm doing is just putting the bottles here in front of me so that I can grab them really quickly. As you guys can tell, this doesn't take very long. I'm just kind of taking my time doing it. I think that's good. So people don't know, this stuff that you guys see me bottling, which is our goddess polish, our shine spray, it's super expensive. Like right now to get the raw materials to make this is not an easy task because a lot of the companies that sell polymers, they are selling them to the big dogs, to the big companies that are buying them in gas truck size loads. That's good in gas truck size loads. They're selling it to um, production houses is another word to use. And when I say production houses, meaning they are the ones that sell to smaller companies like us at a much higher premium. I mean, everybody got to get paid, you guys. So if you do have it, get it while you can, which is probably one of the easier things to do because it can become very hard to get raw material now. As you guys know, supply chains are not playing. I've kind of figured out where my line is now, so I don't have to measure them anymore. Supply chains are not easy. And it's not something that you have control over unless you are one of the production houses where you have relationships and they're gonna guarantee you your stuff. A 
a lot of those places they don't want to guarantee you and then when you go through china for a lot of things you have to buy a lot more than you need so as a small business going through china isn't always the most feasible either it's not the most fruitful way to do things when you're doing it in smaller runs haven't seen Kat or Mr. Mooney. Hope all is well. Uh oh. See see what happens when you're running them out? That's what happens. There we go. Um, my dad hasn't been on here in the last couple of days. I probably need to call my father. I haven't talked to him this weekend. I mean, I'm sure he's fine, but he might tell me it's been bad weather or something. Kat, she is actually on her way in. I don't know what time it is. Can someone give me a time check, Eastern time? Matter of fact, let's do this. Oh, that's crazy. Cat just text. Well, Cat's on her way in. She's running a few minutes late. Let's call the great Mooney and see what he is doing and why he's not on here. So we're out of product. All right, so we're gonna pour in another batch. some calculation here because that one jug yield 25 but you want to make sure that that one jug should actually yield 25 it should actually yield 32 we had two in waste and two in there so really it yield 29 so that's a 25 so one Yeah, it still should yield about four more than it did before. So that's also something that you guys have to keep account of. How much does it yield? Is it yielding the right amount? So if you're assuming that this is 128 ounces, I'm gonna take my scale and I'm gonna measure this bottle. I'm gonna put this on here and I'm gonna tear this to make sure that it's weighing the bottle. And I'm going to put one that's full on there. So really it's 113 ounces in this bottle. So 113 divided by 4. It should yield about 28 bottles, which is about right. I see it running. 
I'm not even pressing the hopper and it's already filling the bottle. So that's another reason why you want to also be careful. Hello. Oh, you ain't have no Wi-Fi. No, I got no Wi-Fi, man. It did that dog from my last week that I bought my whole kitchen. Uh-huh. Two star bars, you know, and tell about it, huh? From then. You haven't had Wi-Fi since then? Shipping in our, shipping in our, shipping in our, and, you know, it's clear, it's slow. You know, it's from telephone network, so there's a lot of work on it. So, you know, I can't ask you that. I ain't got no. Shit last night. It's just a you. Oh, because we're on live, and everybody's like, where's Mooney? No, everybody's on live asking where is Mooney. They have not seen you. Oh, oh. Right, that's what I'm saying. Every time I try to go on this field, I'm going to put you on the line. You're on the line. I'm going to put you on the line. You're on the line. I'm going to try to go by the time I go home. That's all I know. So you guys already, is everybody out there or just you? Huh? Everybody having the same problem or just you? Yeah, man. Everybody, everybody there. Everybody there. I was all here yesterday. Nah. I'm going to put you on the line. Oh, okay, so they're gonna try and fix it. Okay. So, so maybe I'm gonna tell you what, maybe by the time I go to Jamaica school, I'll go back. Okay, okay. That's how it goes. Okay, daddy. Well, I'm on live. I'm on live, so I'll call you later. All right, baby. All right. Love you, guys. Okay, love you, daddy. Okay, bye. All right, so the great Mooney is A-OK. -okay. The Wi-Fi has been out for the last few days in his area. It's part of being in Jamaica, it's not easy. So I have to wait for them to repair and then he'll be back on live with us, friendly people. Thank you guys. Let me pay attention to what I'm doing because this can easily get away. And this right here, when I say liquid gold, this product is liquid gold. You can't afford to waste none. Wasting some is just like, whoo, what happened? And why? I'm allowing it to drip in because this will overflow if I do it the other way. And the good thing about the hopper, you can adjust how much product comes out of the handle, which I could have done that. Crystal, is there room for the low porosity for your low porosity class tomorrow? So tomorrow's not the low porosity class. Tomorrow is the what's my porosity class. The low porosity class is on the 14th. So that's the class that you're talking about if you already know your porosity or if you discover tomorrow that you're low porosity and you wanna learn a lot more detail on how to take care of your hair, then tomorrow is the class for you to figure out your porosity and understand your porosity understand what porosity is, the different do's and don'ts, that kind of thing. And then we go in depth on each porosity, the 14th of September and then the 21st of September. And then business classes start October. And for those of you that are not a part of the live classes and you guys like to catch the replays, please keep in mind replays actually cost more than the live class. You're watching it after the fact. I 
after I bottle this, I'm going to change the hopper, clean it out, and then I'm going to bottle the Shine Enhancer treatment. We have some remaining um, that they had kind of formulated on Friday. So we're going to bottle that up as well. Get all of that updated in the inventory so you guys can get the Shine Enhancement treatment. All of that stuff is going to be added. Um, I have to make some more turmeric body butter today. So I'm here basically all day today. And then we're gonna label these as well. So the reason why you guys see me tilting the bottle is just like if you were at um, pouring like soda or something of that nature. Tilting the bottle helps to reduce the bubbles that come out with it so you don't have to let it rest for so long. You start to learn the line on the bottle. All right, so after this last bottle, I'm gonna go ahead and restock the bottles. You try to do everything in sequence. So goddess polish is one of those things where it can be used as a heat protectant. It can also be used as a shine spray. It's not like the frizz tamer. The frizz tamer is a thicker formula, so it's made to coat the hair in its entirety and protect the hair as like a shield. That's what the frizz tamer and shine serum is for. The goddess polish is more of a UV protectant and it's a spray on formula. So of course it's gonna be more light and sheer on the hair. It doesn't weigh the hair down. A little goes a very long way. Um, we kept this formula very light because we didn't, they have some shine sprays that are out there where once you spray it, it just kind of like weighs the hair down and it doesn't really add shine. It just makes the hair feel heavy. So that's another reason why um, I like this shine spray. And then when you're trying to figure out which one is better, this or the frizz tamer, neither. They both work with each other. So the frizz tamer and shine serum is your heat protector. It is a true heat protector, right? The frizz tamer is made to coat the actual cuticle, so it's gonna protect the cuticles. The frizz tamer is also made to not absorb or dissipate as quickly, right? Then you have the shine spray. The shine spray is really more a, a styling aid. It is to give the hair that luster that it's missing. It also has UV protectants in it to protect you from things such as heat damage and environmental damage as well. So the frizz tamer is not one that you can use every single day. The goddess polish is one that you can use every single day to add that, that glitz or shine to your hair, right? It's made for that, to add that shine to the hair and to actually help to protect the hair throughout the day. 
So that's another reason why we wanted this formula to be very lightweight than anything else. Let me see if I can pour it like this. Pour it slow. Okay, I'm fine. Um, it's heavy though. It's very lightweight on purpose so that you can use it every day or every other day to add that shine to your hair. You can use it on your extensions, braids, wigs, because it's that light in weight, but it's that powerful as well. It gives that brilliant shine to the hair. Frizz Tamer, you cannot use that every day. It's not really made for everyday use unless you're doing a lot of twist outs. If you're doing a lot of twist outs, then you can use the Frizz Tamer. All right, so we're gonna get rid of some of this. So we've already determined our waist, right? Our waist, we've already gotten in this bottle, so we don't have to worry about that. Now all we're working on is bottling product. So let's see if I'll have enough. I think I'll have enough to do because we're waiting on a shipment of bottles. We use a lot of bottles. So buying them in cases makes a lot more sense. And then if you're gonna bottle something, can you not do that today? If you're gonna bottle something, and you have all of that product to bottle, don't waste time bottling a little bit, leaving some behind. Just bottle it all. Because that means that when you're running low on inventory, you're truly running low on inventory. But you know, once you run out, it's your fault that you ran out because you were supposed to order more. You knew at that moment that you needed more. You knew at that moment that you needed raw material. So I'm trying to make sure that I don't touch the spouts of the bottle. I'm really just touching the bottles themselves. if I have enough space to put in another one. I do. So I'm going to go ahead and put this last one in there. So we do these in small runs on purpose. I keep hearing people like stepping. I don't know why. So I'm going to pour this last one in there. And then what you always wanna make sure you do too, if you're gonna bottle something, right? And you know that it's something that requires a lot of cleaning. This is a glossifier. It has silicone in it, oils, all of that stuff, right? So if I know that I have to do a lot of cleaning, why am I going to do this process more than once? No, I'm gonna do this process all now so that I know I don't have to do this process again until stocks are running slightly at the threshold of where we cut it off. And because I know that this product takes a lot of cleanup time because it is a oil base and this particular hopper is not dedicated to this product, even if it was, you still have to clean it. So we're actually gonna add some new products to the private label site. Um, some of them being body care, some other parts of our hair care line from Elite Hair Care, that'll be added to the private label site. For those of you that are wanting to start a beauty or hair care business and you don't want to have to try to learn how to formulate on your own, that's what the private label site is all about. So I'm gonna give you guys a little story time. When I first started 
this journey of me wanting to do products. This was years ago. I didn't just start one day, wake up one day and say, you know, I think I want to create a hair care line. I've started this thing, this process so many times and had so much disappointment or I didn't put my all into it. I didn't really care much about it. I just thought about the money. I didn't see my purpose. I really didn't know a lot. All I knew is that I wanted to have a product that would help people. And sometimes just having the product isn't enough. You got to know how to market that product. You have to know how to build that product once you market it. You have to remember to keep marketing. You got to keep marketing your products. Like it never stops. Even when you think that the products are successful, you're still marketing. You're still talking about it until you have something else to talk about or until it's gotten so fully vested that you don't even have to talk about it anymore. But let's be honest. Walmart is a very big business, right? It's on the Forbes list. The Waltons are on the Forbes list of world's most richest people, right? But you still see Walmart commercials. They never stop talking about it. You never stop talking about a product. You never leave a product behind. You never stop talking about your brand. Even when your brand is a household name, you never stop advertising your brand. And that's how it works with product too, because your product is what built your brand, right? If you used your body to build your brand, then you know that you gotta keep up with your body. If you used um, advertising to build up your brand, then you know you have to keep advertising right if you use videos to build up your brand you know you got to keep creating videos you never stop even if your brand makes it into a large retailer that is when you definitely have to ensure that you are marketing this product to the best of your ability why because if that retailer sees that your product is not selling in their store when it's time to get rid of brands your brand is going to be on the chopping block every single time because you don't promote your brand, you think that you've arrived, you think that you don't have to promote your brand, you think that the product speaks for itself. And your product could be the best product on the planet and it doesn't sell. Even though it, has, it was the cure for herpes, it could have been the cure for HIV. If nobody knows about it, or you think that it's a household name and the world knows, you are in for a rude awakening. If no one knows about your product, or you don't keep marketing that product for people to continue knowing about your product, you are going to be on the losing end. So you guys see how it starts to get clear as it sits? That's the reason why when you bottle product, you don't typically want to sell it the same day. You're welcome. That's why I like my business building classes. Do you guys know that I'm more excited about business building than anything else? I love to help people build their business. I am, God put me on this planet to be a solution person. I help find solutions for people. I help try to make a way for people. Whether it be that they appreciate it or they don't, because some people, they want you to help them and help them and help them. And then they show no appreciation for all the help that you've given them because they feel like they're entitled to it. Mm -mm. No, not at all. I like to help those who want to be helped. Hey, who want to be helped and they appreciate the help. That's why I love my YouTube channel. That's why I put all of my energy into my YouTube channel instead of Instagram and TikTok, which I should be putting a lot of energy over there too. But to be quite honest, we always have this, there's this song that sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Instagram. People know my name, but I don't, I don't enjoy Instagram. Instagram is so fabricated. You are not real. Instagram is not a real place. Instagram is a place where you can put on and tell a whole bunch of lies through photos. 
when you are doing video, you can tell lies through video too because you can edit it out. But that's another reason why I do a lot of live videos. You guys see the real part of things. You see the real. You don't see the, oh, you know, I'm just going to edit this out. I'm going to edit this part of me out. At the beginning of me getting on YouTube, when it came onto my hair care business, I used to kind of be afraid to just be myself because I was always told that being myself, people thought that I was cuckoo. People thought that I was crazy. People thought that I wasn't pretty. They didn't hear what I had to say. Oh, I'm too smart. My own cousins used to tell me I'm so smart that I will smart myself out. And I always looked at it like you. You're mad because it's not you. It's okay. And eventually I just started embracing this big head of mine, embracing this big brain of mine to know that this is where God put me. And it still took me a long time to get there. And even now, even some days now, I struggle with it. That's why I love YouTube. It's therapy. I use this as a part of my therapy life. got some more to go I'm kind of speed up my flow here so I can get to the next project but I'm gonna finish out this one first trying to make sure that all of these products are completed and put on the shelf. Kat and I are back to being by ourselves. Joel is not with us anymore. Joel's last day was this Friday. Um, he took on a opportunity where he's traveling. And I mean, in business, you can't even take it personal. You just gotta say thank you. I appreciate you. Joel is still our handy guy, so. Ain't really much where he can go. That's Kat's husband, so where he gonna go? Um, but now it's just me and Kat again. And I honestly don't feel like I need to hire someone else just yet. Things are not so fast paced that we can't handle it, especially because now our bottling practices, a lot of stuff we just really have to package now. We've gotten it down to a science where we don't have to have so many hands anymore. And it's, it's luxurious to say, oh, I have a staff, you know, my staff and, you know, my staff and my staff and my staff. Sweetheart, staff costs money. Staff costs benefits. Staff costs taxes. Staff has a cost. And you have to know that just like how Amazon, Walmart, all these people, they hire seasonal because that they have to uh, account for the fact that they got to give benefits to all these people that they hire on. That's why Walmart... You notice they don't hire a lot of full-timers. They hire a lot of part-timers on purpose. They rather have 17 part-timers than have 10 full-timers. You know why? Because 17 part-timers don't require benefits. 17 part-timers can fill in the gaps when your full-timers can't be there. So that's how I learned. I watch the bigger dogs. This is why during the holidays, they will typically have seasonal employees to fill in the gaps. They're not going to hire a bunch of full-timers. Full-timers cost you more. Hey, everyone. The gray hair class was very good and informative. You come out knowing more than what you think you know. <laughs> Thank you. I'm almost done with this. Let's see where we get. Part. 
And you know, I could have easily put this product on that line and bottled it. But if I tell you the amount of cleaning that has to be done to that machine and the amount of configurating that has to be done to that machine in order for you to do this small run of product, you will drive yourself nuts. That machine right there is if I'm doing like 50 gallons or something. I don't even like to mess with that thing. Any update on the growth bomb? Yep, we'll have some today. Well, I'm gonna actually do the formula today. It has to rest 24 hours and then it will be able to go um, for shipping. It has to rest and harden. morning can't really tell how much more I have left but it's fine I'm waiting on an update on the goddess gummies they were supposed to tell me when it will ship so I will have them I'm so excited how long I have to wait for that stuff? I may or may not use the large machine. I think I'll use the small labeler for this. So it took me about 45 minutes to bottle. If I used that machine, it would have taken us a whole of 10 minutes to bottle, but it would take us a whole hour to clean it. So sometimes I prefer not. Have you tried tapping into J-Can Market? I don't know what J-Can Market is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. What is that? What is the machine called? It's called a manual hopper. manual 
little hopper. You can do, uh oh, there's my last little bit coming out. You can do, um, all right, so we're just gonna let this sit. Another case. So I'm just letting whatever is residual in there kind of run out. So these are our spray tops. So what I just do is grab them. Oh, the Jamaican market. Yeah, my dad is the distributor. Thank you, Grasshopper. All right, so we're gonna take some of these, drop them in. So that machine has a cap tightener where you can push it through once the items have the cap on it, you have to tighten it a little bit and then it will tighten it the rest of the way. So these are silver, or they call it shiny silver sprayers. Another thing when you use that machine, you have to have a second set of hands because someone has to tighten the tops before they can go into the actual tightener. So it doesn't actually put the cap on for you. You have to put the cap on and tighten it a little bit and then it will do the rest. How many did you fill this morning? Um, this was a short run. It wasn't that many. I'll count them in just a moment. Yeah, this was a very short run. We only did 20 gallons.
20 gallons really isn't much. So 20 gallons can do maybe a hundred and something, roughly, including the waste or not including the waste. I know I heard somebody. Morning. Can you do me a favor? Well, you know what? We need the label? Yeah, but you want to finish these and then yeah. um, you set it up for me? Since they're already there. Wait, no, because I know you still have these couple of iron bottles left to yeah. label, right? Yeah. You want to? Uh, yeah, they can so you want to put it right in front of me? Okay. So, did you cry? Okay. Yeah. Uh, no. Lies. No, I didn't need it. I had a couple days. Really? Yeah. Y'all got a trip. Peace out, brother. I'll see you in a couple weeks. See you later. No, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. All right, so caps are on. Now I'm manually tightening them. This is the most aggravating part of the whole process. This is goddess polish. So I'm tightening the caps and then we'll get them prepared to get labeled. The good thing is the label machine. <laughs> no manual labeling here. Thank you, Jesus. If I wasn't so already in, in place, I would put those, these things on and have that thing tighten these caps. Yeah, those caps are 
These caps are aggravating. Hey, Jean. Manual labor is nice. It helps, right? But it is not the fastest way to do things. That clock is driving me nuts. Did you find out what our neighbors do? Do they actually speak? It's two of them, right? Who is it? It's a dude and two dudes or? The black guy. Yeah. But I always see two cars now. The nosy part of me wants to know. Have you seen them move anything? See, we're nosy people. Have you seen them move anything in there? Oh, they were mad? I mean, everybody knew about the power, didn't they? Everybody knew the power was on. Two weeks ahead of time. And actually, I got a reminder email. So they kept coming and asking Joel? Well, at least now we can work on getting an AC. Yeah, but when it's cold, it's cold. When it's hot, when it's hot, it's hot. Yeah, I gotta get. I gotta. I work for a company that made Sutton products, suntan products, and we had to manually fill some of the products, so I know what you mean. Listen, 
People don't even understand how far we try to get away from men when we doing anything now. This is the most aggravating part of life to manually fill things. Man, we used to do this so much. Oh my gosh. That's the only bad part. These screw on the the sprayers. These are the ones from coal. Everything that comes from coal is horrible. <sighs> Hands are already red, you guys. So Kat is setting up the labeler. I'm going to work on the um, the hair, hair repair bomb today. I have an appointment at 10. Hold on, you guys. Oh, okay. No, I don't have that appointment today. Twelve thirty-five. You want to try one? You can take one. What kind of label machine do you use? So we have an Apex system. We also have a, a, a semi-automatic labeler. What I would suggest, if you're interested in like finding out different machines, that kind of thing to use for packaging, that kind of stuff. I have a one-on-one -on -one consultation. It's a one-on-one -on -one business and wealth building consult. That's um, available if you go to EliteHairCareUniversity.com. You'll see it on there. And that allows you an hour to pick my brain, get packaging information, resources, all of that stuff. Thank you. Oh, you have tons of orders. Don't worry, they're waiting for you. They are waiting. Don't forget you said you, not, you needed to count those too. 
Remember you said you need to count those because you put in a certain amount. Oh, you counted them? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. And there is a... Con How long did it take you to create your product and the manufacturing process? So Elite Hair Care has been around for three years now. And even till this moment, I'm, I'm still doing that. So like my formulas, I have most of my formulas, but you never get complacent with formulas because guess what? A raw material that you were using two years ago might not be available three years later. So then you have to figure out a way to make that formula work again. Or it could be that that formula has proven to be outdated now. You need to update the formula. So it's like you, you still are always trying to reinvent the wheel. Your manufacturing practices, you never change or you never, I'm not gonna say you never change, you never get complacent because even those can change in the blink of an eye. It'll be a situation where you, you have a machine, that machine is causing you more waste than the other machine, or that machine is down and now you have to figure out how you're gonna do this, or a product that you have, the consistency is wrong for certain machines. Like for that machine, which is the bigger line, we don't do certain things on that machine. Whereas we'll use the semi-automatic um, handler and that one we can use for conditioners and stuff. The manual hopper, you can use it for conditioners and stuff too, but some things get stuck. So it's, it's always a battle. But for the most part, you start getting the practices down pat, but you never get complacent with them. So I can say it took a, it's taken us three years and we're still counting. We're still dealing with the same thing. Almost done putting tops on these. My arms, not even my arms, right here of my hand is hurting. Hey Siri, create a shopping list. Hey Siri, open the notepad. Hey Siri, open notes. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Did that. Hey Siri, can I get that? Yeah. Create a new note. Things to purchase. Okay, I created a note. Things to purchase. 
beverages. Alcohol. Here's what I found. And she gonna look up alcoholic beverages. I'm done. I say I need alcohol. You go look up alcohol beverages. I didn't say I needed that. <laughs> I have to write this down because Siri is not so user friendly all the time. You listen to everything else, you don't listen when I need you to. It's intense. Hand tightening these is the most aggravating thing I've yeah, ever this, done. These, these bottles are not easy. Hotter, hotter. They're harder than uh, SPF. Yeah, they're harder. Everything from them is harder. Did you ever notice that? Yeah. Like every everything the other than their gold like caps. Is their gold caps. That's it. That's all. I know what we won't buy from them. Those sprayers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Never again. Hold on, you guys. All right, let's see here. I'm new to your channel learning so much. Thank you. Jean, yes, it is always a continuing process. Always. All right, I'll tell her. All right, you guys. So, so we're going to come over here to where the labels happen, which I'm going to bring you guys a little bit closer because I need this cart a little bit closer. And then you guys can kind of see the process of how the labeling works.
So all we do is set them on here. And then it just kind of pushes them down the line. This can do all of these labels and then they round up down at the end. Instead of me doing it the other way where we use the manual one, the manual one or semi-automatic is fine too. So we get our labels on large rolls and then you put them on here and it literally labels everything. And it lays the label on it nice and pretty. After we configure it, that's it. We don't really have to do anything else. You guys see how it's just going down the line and then they assemble down at the base. And when I say they assemble, it's like a, a turntable and the turntable just accumulates the bottles as they come down. And then we can take them all off instead of me having to like find a place to put them, that kind of thing. You don't have to do that. Now this machine, this, this length of machine was not one that was cheap. I will say this whole thing ran us about $64,000. But it was an investment. This is definitely an investment. Ay, 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 ay. This was definitely an investment for the future. Yeah, it's a big ouch, but you get a business loan for things like this, equipment loans. You don't buy these things out of your pocket because if you try to just continue spending all your cash flow for this, you're gonna go broke. So you use other people's capital to build your capital. When you're buying machinery, that kind of thing, you don't buy that stuff outright. If you really wanna be that super fabulous person and you wanna spend your money up front, that's your choice, but it's not gonna be of any worth to you spending your money up front or financing it, it doesn't matter. You save your capital for when you need real capital. And look how I'm able to label these, accumulate them all down at the end. I'm able to do this in like five, 10 minutes, all of these bottles. All right, so these are the last ones. One of them fell, so I need to get that one. You guys see how they all kind of down there at the turntable? So all I have to do when I'm done, go down there, get them all. Here's my last one here, I think so, yep. I'm gonna 
turn this off. And then I'm gonna bring you guys down here to the turntable. And that's really it. That's that's the easiest part of this. And I can just grab a bunch of them at a time as they load on. If you were gonna box them up, now would be the time that you grab them and you can drop them in the bottle. If I had way more than this, the turntable could fill up. They have bigger turntables than this, if needed. And that's it. And then you turn this off, and now the machine is off. I can see the difference your products have made in my hair care. I've been natural for a few years now, usually twisting my hair, and then really needed help. Thank you. All right, so Kat is going to add these to the inventory. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to bring these over to the commerce. We call it commerce, the commerce area. shelf so they're gonna go up here in commerce cat has OCD so I have to make sure that I like put them up there nicely or she's gonna come and then she's gonna fix them herself her, her OCD drives me crazy but I get it So these shelves are also good to have. You can fit a lot of products. We used to have the plastic shelves. I would never recommend anybody buy those to house your products because you're gonna end up needing these. These things are heavy. So you need shelves that can really hold up a lot of this. I'll change them around in just a second.
Does your labels already have batch numbers on them? No, we do lot numbers on actual product. And then it's on the back end that we know the numbers. So that's why when we run out of product, we run out of product and then we restock. So the next batch, we already know this number was this number because that's when we started. Now what we can do, and a lot of companies start doing that, is they start getting machines that can add batch numbers to each actual product. But you can also do it through your order system. It just, it's a lot of different ways to do it. Hi, yeah, yeah. Stocked. All right, so we're gonna clean up our area for what we've done so far. So what we're gonna do is put back the stuff that we don't need. I have a big question. Do people have to necessarily have a cosmetology license to start a hair product brand? Will you ever make a YouTube in future on how to start a hair product brand business? Um, Demond, so no, you don't have to have a cosmetology license. The owner of the main choice was a nurse. She's never done hair. The owner of Mayel, same thing, has never done, a, done hair. And they are, well, were the owner of main choice. The owner was the owner of Mayel. I mean, no, Mayel is still owned by What's her name? Can't think of her name. Rodriguez is her last name. But main choice, same thing. None of these people were hairstylists. They knew nothing about hair. It just was an opportunity that came about from their own hair. And they used their own hair to sell. Um, am I going to do a YouTube video on it? Actually, I have a business class on that. So I'm not actually doing videos on a lot of that information as much anymore. Because I have a business platform that I'm teaching that now where you can be a part of that clash or you can get the replay, that kind of thing. Sorry guys, I'm hot. Let me do this. I didn't get to fill it enough, I take these home. So this one I'm actually gonna take home because it's not enough. Matter of fact, your girl looking a little ashy. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, okay, let's go over here. So I have to go and wash this. This can go with my stuff to go home. All right, let's go wash some stuff. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> All right, so before I start the next project, we got to clean up from the previous project, right? So let me go get some degreaser. Okay, so we have some awesome. So basically what I'm doing is just spraying these down. Let's 
same thing with the hopper. So the hopper, you can actually take them apart. Dawn dish detergent.
clean this thing here. So once this one is washed, you just turn it over, allow it to drip dry. This one, same thing. Of these. All right, so for the hopper, the base of the hopper, you don't really want to get that too wet. So what we're going to do, so I'm going to bring it over here, rest it here. Wash off the base. And it has a little bit of product on it, so you want to wash off the base. Try not to get the inside wet. All right, so there's product still inside here. So I'm going to turn on this hot water. I'm gonna get one of these. I'm gonna put hot water in there. Oh, it's super hot, yep. I need to put a little bit of soap. Ooh, that thing is hot. Pour some here. You can use a bottle cleaner and clean it. You can use a rag and clean it. Done. We'll use one of these. These are done. I'm gonna 
gonna put these in there so those can dry. And I'm gonna use this, and I have a ton of oil on this cart here, or spray. Shop towels is the best way to do this. They're easy to clean. Spray it down again with some degreaser. Jamaican way, so y'all just bear with me, okay? That is how you clean. All right, so I'm gonna some paper dry that off. this you don't want to leave it wet you want to make sure you dry this off because it will rust That goes in there, and then this covers it.
All right, people, on to the next project. Work. This is what my day is like when you guys see me here. Let's see. I'm gonna put these back, I'm gonna put these back. Why did you stop selling hair gel for natural hair? Um, we didn't. We're revamping it. Good morning. What? I want to know if your products are in Jamaica. They are, Tracy. If you WhatsApp 876-334-5698, that is how you get products in Jamaica. Bottle. Let me get the caps.
Thanks, Grasshopper. All right, since I just cleaned this. Since I just cleaned this, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one so I can clean it again. Because we're gonna bottle some shine enhancing treatment. So let's get the waste out. The only issue with this one is you really have to like pay attention on this one. Because the bottles are black, you can't even see through them. pumps on the dot. One, two. Perfecto! I can do this really quick. So this is the shine enhancing treatment that you guys have seen not in stock for a while. I'm making product all of today. I probably can hand label these because it's not that much. This was just some overstock that we had.
another way to clean out the hopper once you're done is to use soap and water, pour it in, let it sit for a second. Because this one is not an oil, it's a lot easier to So I'm gonna let this sit in the hopper. Cover these in the meantime. So these use little silver disc tops is what we call them. So these are like baby disc tops. And I'm gonna show you guys how I used to label my products, but I've gotten it so down to a science that I know how to do it with eyesight. And I'm basically spot on every time because this is how I used to bottle my products when it was just me. I'd sit in my office late at night and be bottling products. Just like this, late at night. I'd be up to sometimes two, three o'clock in the morning, then have to get back up at six something to get my kids to school, then go to work, do hair, come back home, do this again, because I could only order in small batches. And I used to spend so much money on small batches until one day I found a little manual labeler that allowed me to put the labels on and I thought I was doing it too, boy. You couldn't tell me I wasn't doing something. So one thing I will say, when you are dealing with products, nothing should be left behind. If you have inventory, you need to bottle it. No matter how small, no matter how large, you bottle that inventory and you sell it. Because there's people that want it that can't get it. And they were wishing that you would sell it. All right. So we're gonna hand label these couple bottles, not much. All right, so we take the label. There's always a crest on every bottle because the bottles are put together in a mold, right? And that mold is usually straight. I follow the crest line on the bottle. I've been doing this so long. My kids used to do this for me. Now, if you have a ton of bottles, I would never say to do this because you're bound to start seeing the line and the line gets the same. All of a sudden you start seeing multiple lines. Even Cat does it like this. Cat used to do it with me too. So if you look at my bottles, guys, you notice my labels are all in the same place? That tells you that I've been doing this a long time. And my labels go on straight. I don't like crooks in my labels. 
Well, when you do this on a regular day, it becomes second nature almost. Humble beginnings, you guys, humble beginnings. So I have some Makita that I need to label. This is some that were laying around. I hate to see products that are ready laying around. I can't stand it. So same thing with these.
right, let me add those. Shine Booster. So the shine boosting treatment is back on the website. Save that. Nikita, I need to add these little bits to it. Makeda. Those are back. These need to be put back. This needs to be put back. Hold on, you guys. We are going to clean up this in just a moment. And then I'm going to start working on this balm. So now that the hot water has been sitting, I'm just going to take my little brush here, make sure that all the product is moved out. This is also an easy way to clean this thing. Okay. So now I'm just going to it out so that is another easy way to clean the hopper if it's not an oil based product if it's an oil based product this won't work so all I'm doing is filtering the water through with soap so this is not warm water but it was hot water with a little bit of Dawn disc detergent you can also put vinegar in there too I like doing it this way because it basically is filtering the water through and washing all the product out. So this water has no soap in it. And 
And you're gonna use this to rinse out any residual soap. So now you're gonna let the clean water run through it and pour this out. going to do this twice. One side of clean water and any residual soap. It's not much. So now it's just clean water coming out. So what we do now, open this to get any excess water out. nice and hot. Clean. Clean. Tilt that down. Clean off any areas that need to be cleaned off. Let any excess water run out. back on and then you put this baby over here Gotta make some bomb.
Okay, so let me get Matter of fact, I'm thirsty. Thirsty. Mm-hmm. I need some air, honey. Wow, I'm about to take my air butt to Wawa. Can you do me a favor? Can you put the formula book out there for me? With the um, flip to the page with the bomb. Oh. Okay. Okay. Be right back. Right. It's super hot. We're going to Wawa, people. Let's go. Hey. What happened? Hold on, you guys. All right, y'all. The simulating roller is coming. It's already in production. Woo. My gosh. Hold on, y'all. Good to know people. It is hot. Yes, honey. Yeah. All right, people. My UPS driver is gonna try to find me an AC unit. <laughs> Y'all see how hot it is in there? If I didn't put my little wrap on, Crystal would not have a hairdo right now. So let's go to the Waski, which is Wawa. And let's go get us something to drink, something nice and tall. I want a very big ginger ale because it's caffeine free. When you're taking these, um, taking ADHD medication, you guys, I learned the hard way. So I was drinking sweet tea the other day. And when I tell you that my heart was throbbing through my nostrils, my heart was throbbing so fast and I never caught on why. I'm like, well, what did I do? Like, you know, I thought it was like my thyroid. And I remember the doctor saying anything with caffeine try to stay away from it because they interact honey my client was sitting there my client was like Krista you got the jitters or something I couldn't keep nothing in my hands all I drank was sweet tea you guys a sweet tea from Chick-fil-a at that 
um i couldn't keep anything in my hands i was like okay well maybe it's just me so then the next day we i take the kids to chick-fil-a in the morning and i'm thinking stay away from caffeine stay away from coke stay away from all those drinks i love soda so it was like it's been hard for me so i got an arnold palmer so i noticed the next day i had the jitters but it wasn't as bad as the day before but i still had the jitters my client which is another client of mine she's like crystal because she this is the client that actually knows what was going on because me and her talk a lot she's like you do know that tea has caffeine right you know i know this i know this but i didn't know this right she's like i'm like what are you saying <laughs> she's like you do know that the tea you are drinking in the Arnold Palmer has caffeine, a lot of it. <laughs> so I just looked at her. I laughed. I slapped myself a couple of times on the inside. And I laughed again. And that's when she was like, um, you might want to not drink that. <laughs> so I threw the tea away. I threw the Arnold Palmer away. So the next day, I noticed that I didn't drink the... um. I didn't get a sweet tea. I got bottled water. I noticed the next day I didn't have the jitters. And then the day after that, I didn't have the jitters because I had cut out the sweet tea. I'd already start, stopped drinking caffeinated soda. If I drink a soda, I drink a ginger ale or even a Sprite. Or sometimes Fanta. But I even try to stay away from Fanta because even the sugar will give you the jitters, right? So I'm still learning how to really um, cope <laughs> with, with this because that caffeine had me so wired I was like a crackhead in church I couldn't hold anything I was moving like lightning speed general it was bad it was real bad so I am why 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 look like it's closed down hmm. I have to get some alcohol anyway so I'm just gonna get something to drink from the um family dollar get a ginger ale there instead of going into the wawa we'll just kill two birds with one stone so i learned the hard way about um remembering that certain things have caffeine in them so now before i drink anything that i'm not aware of i google it to see if it has caffeine in it like i like sparkling grape juice i love welch's sparkling grape juice like i love it and I had to Google it and find out if it had caffeine in it because what I'm not gonna do is have crackhead jitters again. I, could, I couldn't manage the crackhead jitters. It, it was not a good feeling. When I tell you my heart was through my nostrils, I could feel my heart beating in my head. That's just how much. And you guys also have to remember, I don't have a thyroid. So the littlest thing, the slightest thing will make my heart flutter. It is the worst feeling. It feels like you like you really feel like you're about to like pass out. Never again. Never ever again. Yep. So I have two things that work against me. But God is good because he knows that I love soda and this has been my way of really stepping back from drinking a lot of um caffeinated drinks. Now if I really want something like a, like I really want the soda, I'll get a ginger ale. Good morning. If I really, really want something, even Gatorade. Gatorade too. Gatorade does it too. I don't even have any alcohol. Are you serious? What are people doing? Eating the alcohol? Are you drinking it? That's deep. Are you guys out of alcohol? Alcohol? Rubbing alcohol? Yeah, we don't Okay, thank you. Well, alcohol really is usually the best thing to use because it dissipates. But seeing as I have no other choices, I will have to get a cleaning solution which I don't really like all the time but I have no choice can use ammonia too ammonia does it too but it's 
brutal. Ammonia is brutal. Cleaning vinegar works well, too. I'll get the cleaning vinegar. Cleaning vinegar is good. Mm -hmm. You can use that. And then I need some more measuring cups. So yeah, cleaning vinegar is good. Vinegar and water helps to cut dirt, dirt and grime and it's not as harsh. That's another thing. Not as harsh. They never have two things that match in here. Yeah. <laughs> I swear they never have two things that match in Family Dog. Like ever. I cannot. I can't deal. I tried, but it's a no-go. Let's go. Let's get either a ginger ale or a Sprite. I prefer ginger ale. No Gatorade. Never again. No caffeine, and then I'll get a smart water. Give me one moment. Give me something to eat. I'm getting some ravioli. I like ravioli. It's good. Lasagna or beefaroni. I like beefaroni too. Beefaroni is good. People used to always say they love beefaroni. Okay, I am ready. Sandra, I've heard that before. So you possibly you're right. All right, back to work we go. We're going to work on this recipe. I'm going to do a small run first. 
and then do a large run after. I think I'm gonna eat my ravioli first. My head's starting to hurt. So yeah, I'm gonna eat first. Then I can get back to work. And before I even do anything, I have to write out this formula anyway. So I got what I needed, which was some cleaning product. The cleaning vinegar, that'll work until I can get some alcohol. Alcohol, 90% alcohol is actually really the best thing to use if you're cleaning like cosmetic utensils because alcohol dissipates. Vinegar does as well. I'm not, I'm not away from the vinegar but I prefer the alcohol but apparently they didn't have any so I can use some cleaning vinegar in place of that and then you just rinse it rather than um, the alcohol where you just wipe it so you guys have been on live with me for going on three hours you guys are troopers three hours today that's like listen that's a lot that's trooper style Yep, <laughs> I know a lot of you are at work. Like, listen, girl, we are all at work together, so we can just chill. It's cool. The only thing I had for breakfast this morning was an apple. I had an apple and some water. That's another thing too with the, the medication. It makes you like not so hungry, but then when you do get hungry, you're starving. It's like it, you have a headache, you have a stomach ache, everything. Please don't, don't do foolishness like that, sir. If you're gonna drive, just freaking drive. I'm doing some real dangerous style stopping. Let's use turning signals. Good, good, good. Let's use those turning signals. I took my sneakers off for a little bit. Put my sandals on, even though I shouldn't be working in sandals. But I'm putting these babies on today. Thank you, Mary. Well, let's go inside and eat a little ravioli. Shall we? Oh, my feet feel heavenly. Oh, 
definitely needs cleaning. Just chill right here. Um, I ripped, well, just a, a piece of my nail broke on the side, on my big toe, and when I went to go pull it, I yanked okay. the okay. whole side Okay, okay, oh. okay, thanks. So it hurt, that's Nasty. Oh, great, great. Um, do we have any forks? Are you serious? Yeah. No, you're joking, right? No, we used the last one on Friday. No, Want spoons either? Nope. Can you put this in? I guess I'm using a knife. Can you put, put it on the table for me? And something told me I was at Family Dollar and I looked. Listen, y'all. I looked at the forks uh, and knives. Like, hey, I looked at them. I looked at them. And nothing. Nothing. didn't even pick them up. And now I need something to eat with, so I'm gonna use this butter knife. And we're gonna make it work, cause I'm not leaving here again. <laughs> cause if I leave here, I'm going home. Yep. It's cool. how to eat this today let's go <laughs> learn. we're gonna learn how to eat this lasagna with a butter knife today i don't care if i struggle this is not i am going to yes you can do it again listen you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do my sister Y'all gonna sit here and laugh at me? I don't care. We're gonna eat this with this butter knife. Mm hmm. I'm gonna put these over here. What? Oh, you got a fork? Oh, because I was gonna figure this out. Look at that. I was gonna figure this thing out. Cat found one. I was gonna figure that bad baby out. Gotta add your hot sauce. <sighs> yeah. Ain't 
Amen. Mm. Mm. I love ravioli. <laughs> Y'all don't know? Ravioli is one of my favorite foods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes nice. I would be a suitable crackhead. <laughs> because you see my, my level of, of satisfaction when I get that soda? Man. Man. I'm so, let me try to see if it would have worked. Yes, I know. Africans eat with their hands. So, thank you, Grasshopper. Mm hmm. Cat, did you find the book? Yeah, Where'd you put it? Mm -hmm. The purple one? Yeah. Yeah. Please. <laughs> hey, Grasshopper. You be on a roll. I don't know why I keep calling you Grasshopper. Grace be on a roll, y'all. Got to bring Patty's folder. I appealed it, you know. Oh, okay, okay, good. Man, I was looking for alcohol, and I forgot that we have these wipes. These are clean. Oh, alcohol wipes? Yeah, we have. Well, alcohol. no, we need the alcohol. Oh, alcohol, alcohol. They didn't have any at Family Dollar. No. Mm -hmm. As much as I was starving, can you believe I'm full? I, I hate that. When you're really hungry and when you finally get food in your system, you get full like that in a heartbeat. Other thing? Just in case. A little disappointed that I couldn't finish my food. Huh? A little disappointed that I haven't finished my food. I haven't finished my food. Okay. I'm going to try. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I added the Shine Serum, the Shine Booster. Oh, I added it while you was out there. When? Today? Yeah, while you was out there. Um... Oh, you might want to check the number then. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 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 that's good. It was less than 20. It was only 18. Mm -mm. That's it.
Yeah. Did you add it over the weekend? Oh yeah, cause I did that. If I if I bottle them, cat. If if I bottle them and finish it, I'll add it myself. If I don't finish it, then you'll add it. Yeah, that just kind of turned my stomach off. Okay. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, Cosmopolitan. Are, are they coming for free or something? I hope so. I hope I'm not getting any emails that say I owe for my subscription. All right. Let me look at this. No, we're going to work on breaking down a recipe real quick. Thank you, Jesus. Excuse me. Uh -uh. No. 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 Sorry, guys, talking to myself. No. No. It's none of these. That was too much beeswax. Sorry, I'm writing something down. Okay.
Hold on, you guys. That's for like six times times four that's what we call it now we have sixty sixty ounces.
Oh, let's do our calculation here. That's 500 plus 516. Thank you. Okay, so I had to write out a recipe or formula and break down that formula. So now that the formula is broken down to make that amount of product, now I need to break it down to test it. Now to test it. Point six two, point six two, point six two, point six two. Point six two. Point two three. This is how you gotta break it down to test it. All right, so let's go in the warehouse. We are going to go and I'm going to test this out and then I will come back on live um, a little bit later. Uh, how's it going with insulin resistance? Um, it's going. I take a shot once every week. I dread the one shot, but I saw my labs. Um, my A1C has gone down, but it needs to still get lower. So I'm at like a 24 now, whereas before I was in like the very high numbers, like 60s or 70s. So once I'm, if I'm consistent, and I'm not saying really if, now that I'm consistent with the shot, that kind of thing to lower my A1C, it's, it's getting better. And I'm noticing changes in my weight. I'm noticing my hunger being very different. Um, but it could also be a part of ADHD medication too, because that also makes you drop pounds. So I'm not sure. I don't want to tell you a lie, but I know my A1C is going down based on my blood work. All right, you guys. So I am going into the warehouse. I appreciate you guys for joining me for this three hours today. And I will talk to you guys later on.